Hello guys, welcome back and in this video we're going to take a look at the official Lineage OS 20 for our Motorola Edge 20 Pro which is based on Android 13 and yeah also running the latest uh, August 2023 patch so let's take a look at it. So guys this is Lineage OS 20 which is based on Android 13 and uh, let's go to about phone into Android uh, here as you can see it says Android version 13 lineage OS version uh, p star nightly and these builds are weekly so you will get a build every week an update then 5 august 2023 security patch latest let's go back and here you can see also the lineage OS version which is mentioned here and it will give you this easter egg for lineage OS. and this is as old as from the pi version i think yes the pi version and also in here you will get the android 13 easter egg too so yeah in case if you're wondering so guys Lineage OS is the first AOSP based custom ROM for our Motorola H20 Pro and the performance is really nice on this one. I mean there may be a lot of issues right there for some people who have some specific apps that need something like the original Motorola thing. But yeah if you are an Android fanatic uh, tech enthusiast like if you are really into custom ROMs and if you want to use a stable one then I'd recommend this and for ROM. Uh, we only have this custom ROM which is also st uh, officially stable because I have been seeing a lot of improvements uh, in this one. Uh, I have also installed this previously in I guess uh, March uh, January but there were some issues related to Volte I guess. But now everything is fixed VLT and everything is working. There is no indicator for VLT but it works fine. I have tried Geo 2, uh, 5G works fine. Uh, yeah, only if you are updated to the 5G version is you need a firmware update to 5G. If you are in older versions, you have to update to the 5G first then install the Lineage OS. So yeah, just like that just for clarification of the 5G. Now let's take a look at the features here in the Lineage OS. Now for Lineage OS we get basic features which uh, really Motorola should have provided but yeah, Motorola provides a lot of features like the gestures and all. But let's take a look at some of them. So this first the camera, the AOSP camera. Uh, just some basic camera and nothing else but you have a lot of options uh, here too uh, this aspect ratio grid and all that uh, basic camera stuff then also you have some settings bright screen location the leveler then yeah ZSL mode also mirror front camera and that is it I don't know how to uh, go through the FPS thing oh yeah here it is so you can also shoot in 60 fps uh, 4k yes you can shoot i guess you can oh yes i can do so yeah it can does all the shooting and thing so yeah you can use it as a basic camera but if you need something more advanced for like if you want to shoot some astrophotography or stuff then you have always have the g cam i'm not going to give a link to the g cam because you can choose any of the gcam if you want on custom roms and also on the motor original uh, if you have uh, rooted it and all that and that stuff but if you want that i will leave a link to the motorola gcam uh, for uh, moto h20 pro so yeah uh, you can join that group from telegram and then you can get some awesome uh, apks and you can also share your photos there so yeah in case uh, i'm not promoting all this stuff but yeah if you are really interested in gcam then you can join that group so guys let's take a look at the features of Lineage OS and first thing I'm going to talk about is the display, live display feature and we can go right on here, live display as you can see we have the display mode, uh, display all adjustments then you can turn it automatic or outdoor then you also have the anti flicker, in reading mode, color calibration you can adjust it accordingly and picture as adjustment too so you can adjust it according to your viewing ability and all that stuff so yeah if you want uh to look at more cooler or warmer you can adjust that and you can adjust the colors too so that is also really nice in that also we have night light which is like uh reading mode uh or the book mode i think uh, which i call it also we have colors natural boosted saturated adaptive and we also have this in motorola so don't worry also we have peak refresh rate and you can change it 60 120 90 so you have a lot of options here all are unlocked so yeah you can choose i want to save it uh, to uh, both minimum uh, maximum 144 so yeah that's a full screen apps uh, is also there so all the supported apps will come here uh, i have these much apps and not any one of them supported i'm really uh, 
I, I don't know why it does not support it but yeah okay then we have the high touch sensitivity which is the high polling rate also you can also enable that if you are having if you're using gloves and all that stuff so yeah glove mode is also here uh, next customization you see is in wallpaper and styles and if you go down here you can also change the Wi-Fi icons so as you can see there are a lot of options and I have set it to circular this is what it looks like also in the status bar and if I change it to Kai or let's go to the Victor one which the icons look like that let's apply and it is applied now let's turn on the do not disturb let's see uh, as you can see uh, the icons have been applied and you can change the status bar like the Wi-Fi icon and stuff and this changes everything not just the Wi-Fi icon it will just change the status bar icon style so yeah you can choose accordingly uh, Lineage OS also focuses on privacy so into uh, privacy uh, you can see the trust and you can see if you have built as cell next against forcing if the security patches are up to date also as you can see the vendor uh, patch is out of date as this the vendor batch is 1 June 2020 so it is gone yellow which means it's neutral then you also have restrict USB and you can uh, restrict USB usage and you have this stuff selling status and build signature enabled so to view it properly and also you can uh, like see if the encryption is also enabled so that you can have your device protection and you can also set a password so if you even if you turn on the device when it's turned off it will just ask for a password first and uh, before it boots up so this is also really nice now right below into the system tab we have buttons into buttons as you can see edge long swipe action is also present so uh, if I choose last app so if I just long swipe it will just choose the last app let's go back to our menu and we have power menu and we have advanced restart so if I just long press the power button and if I click on restart it will ask for an advanced menu which is boot to system the boot to recovery bootloader and fast boot and you can choose between them so this is also really nice uh, advanced menu and these are basic lineage features which I really like then long press to torch and all that stuff click to partial screenshot is also here and also you can turn the uh, volume panel to the left if you have that then we have the updater right here uh, as you can see if you refresh as this is an official build you will get weekly updates and an update will arrive as you can see 22nd April uh, update has arrived and the next one might get on 29 might it might delay by one or two day and it depends on if the server is going okay or not in the server but yeah it does not delay any time and nightly builds are always provided so yeah this is also really nice and finally the last two options which i missed in system part so first is the status ban you can customize the status of stuff here uh, network traffic monitor you can enable and if you uh, enable uh, both upload and download you can say traffic measurements in these all four units measurements and then auto hide and show units you can customize all that the clock position show seconds auto hide battery style also i have set it to circle you have icon portrait uh, uh sorry icon portrait circle and text then you can choose according as you can see this is how it will look if you have turned on the net meter too then we also do have brightness slider across so you can just slide across i think this is how it works right quick settings okay okay this one uh, it won't slide uh, uh, if you are on the status bar uh, sorry it's not a status bar slider this is just the brightness slider option in the quick settings so you can yeah, disable that if you do not use that and yeah these are the gestures we have touchscreen gestures but this is just a single type gesture if you want a double type gesture maybe let's wait and see if they bring one and also uh, down here we have uh, swipe finger from notifications uh, and yeah it does work yeah. let's go back then we also have the one handed mode and you can turn it on just by pulling it down uh, as you can see one hand board and just touch it back it will get back to the normal then yeah moto gestures are also there these four gestures are there chop chop will activate the flash screen uh, sorry the flash and wave to silence flip for dnr D and d and pick up to stop running i use these daily and it's work really fine i don't know about these but yeah i guess they will be working because it's a motor phone and everything uh, the elements from moto has been downgraded uh, uh implemented in the source so there's no 
it should regarding that so that is it for the review about the lineage os for a motorola h20 pro if you want to install a detailed installation part is down below in the description so do not worry you won't find anything hard uh, while installing this into your motorola h20 pro and make sure you have uh, unlocked the bootloader uh, of this phone so yeah that is it if you want to unlock bootloader then i will have a detailed description which is the official method to unlock from motorola so that will also be placed down there so do not worry and yeah that is it for the video if you guys like the video press the like button if not the dislike button is also here also please rate my setup there is uh, like messy setup but i don't want to get those lights fixed somewhere i don't want to stick them so i'll just maybe uh try another design next time i shoot a video also please leave a feedback if you want this uh dark room with uh, lights at the background setup or the normal setup which i do so please do note also that in the comment section yeah that will be a great feedback also the video feedback should be there and yeah like and dislike everything has been noted also please subscribe if you want to watch more videos on the motorola h20 pro i'll bring something more like my us 6 video will be also out in like a week so yeah that will be there also other videos are coming so if you have those devices please subscribe because a lot of videos will be coming and yeah this time it will be coming i'm not going to just vanish again like the previous times i just hope that will work fine with me right now so yeah that is it and bye bye i will see you guys again with another video bye bye